Talking of um, the Amsterdam Arena, <coughs> I gather your uncle Jan, Jan, um, shed a tear. What was his Portfleet, is that? Yeah, Portfleet, yeah. there, got it, got it first That's time, right. see? Uh, he, he shed a tear at the thought of you in, the, in that arena, in that great arena, playing for Brighton against Ajax, is that right? Yeah. Yeah, no, he, he said after the, the game to me, he said, like, I was really proud to see you there. And he went also to the game in Marseille, the home game. And then he said, like, yeah, I was a bit, like, emotional seeing you on the pitch and uh, yeah. just, like, being proud that you, you made it so far. And, Hopefully you can even do more, but like it's like on the te on the television you see it and you get like goosebumps. But then when you see it in the stadium, it's even better. So he played in a World Cup final, didn't he, against yeah. Argentina? That must be an incredible thing to have in the family. Somebody who did that. Yeah, no, it was, and also like uh, I have quite a big family, and I'm from a town that's really close, so they really love football. So everyone is at that time. That's like maybe 40 years ago now or 30 and at that time everyone was going to his games and visit him and speaking about him and now it's almost like and having the he, same with me now. He was PSV wasn't he? Yeah. Yeah he was for PSV and he played in Belgium in France. But that World, that World Cup one and it, I, I noticed that he scored a goal for the Netherlands as well that they're, they're, they're things that he's still got over you at the moment hasn't he? Yeah yeah <laughs> now still speaking not about the final because uh, they lost so, no, but how about uh, the World Cup? Like, there are a lot of nice stories. It's, yeah, if you heard, it's almost like, you can almost believe it, you know, because it's, for my feeling, so far away, playing a World Cup final. Yeah, every, everything needs to align, doesn't it? Your, your country needs to produce an amazing amount of talent to get to a World Cup final. But he did spend a little bit of time just along the coast as Southampton manager, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, yeah. I've been a few times to Southampton. So he was manager in the uh, uh, in the Dutch league, and then Southampton wants him. So we went to Southampton, and I remember I was two home games, three home games, playing against Forest, and also against United in the cup. Okay. It was funny because uh, his son was there as well, and a uh, family of us, and then uh, we were waiting outside the dressing room, and then he grabbed me and he said like, uh, "You want to come in the dressing room of United with my son?" So I was like, uh, I was think I was eight or nine. So I told him like, ah, I was a bit shy. I said, no, 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 I'm fine. And then uh, his son came back with uh, all the autographs of Ronaldo van der Sar. <laughs> and I was like thinking about myself, well, what did I, why I didn't just go? Well, he, he was at the, at the end of the sort of golden generation, wasn't he? Or the first golden generation in Dutch football. Did he, did he talk to you about Cruyff and Neskins and those great players of his generation? Yeah, he told me about Cruyff that he played once about uh, against Cruyff and he said like I had him in my pocket. <laughs> 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 and then he said after but he played also three not three other times against him and he was all over the place. Okay, so it's one out of four then. <laughs> yeah. He had him, yeah.